Hey, this is Bruce and welcome to my shop again. Uh, this is uh, number two with the series of the, uh, the Cranky Arm Saga. <coughs> We're, um, we have this crank arm from, uh, a, uh, from a printing press that's been broken right through. I've put a bolt in here to hold it together <coughs> so I can take all the dimensions. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I've had a, a blank cut out, a, a billet cut out uh, with rough holes in it uh, and shaped and it's on the back of the, uh, on the mill now. I machined the one flat section uh, here, oh sorry, on this side here, this one, so that I could grip it in the, um, in the vise. I machined uh, f after that, then I machined the, the, the one side flat and now I'm working on the other one. I'm going to reduce it down to the overall thickness between here uh, and underneath here. So that's the first first job I'm doing is cutting it on, cutting it down to that uh, dimension. I need to get to 52.6 something like that. Um, at the moment, uh, we should be able to see it over here. We're on 55.325. Um, that so hopefully you can see that okay um, so now we're using uh, the, the large um, uh, cutter head that I've got which is similar to this cutter head uh, they it cuts it uh, at they got 90, 90 degree or, or square block so they're very low power requirement but uh, high uh, removal rates but this one's a, a, a 100 mil, and the one on there is 160, which is just over six inch. Um, I'm running it at about 700 RPM, and uh, at about 22% of the feed rate. I don't know what that feed rate is, but whatever it is, it is. And I'm taking I'm taking cuts of about um, I'm, I'm taking cuts of about 0.3 to 0.4 millimeters each time, just toddling along. You'll see the difference between the, the, when we're first cutting in over the whole width to when it narrows out of the section that's actually unsupported here. Because we've only, only got the, um, the clamping along the back straight, but only in one spot here. So I've put, um, I've, I've, I've put some support underneath here, but I can't, uh, can't do much about it. I could make up an arrangement here with a bolt as well, but it's good enough for what I'm doing, so I'm taking off less than what I would normally take off if it was a major block that I had more strength. It's a, it's a, it's a four-ton hydraulic uh, vise, so I'm not concerned about any movement and so forth. So we'll go ahead now and we'll do a cut, as you can see, and as we're coming out in this direction, then the, the noise level goes up, of course. There's, there's nothing I can do about that. We're on 726 RPM. And we might we might zone the red a little bit once it starts coming. galloping, uh, it's marching, but uh, it is what it is, and uh, it just takes time and we'll be down to the size, we've got, got a, probably about 10 cuts to do, which is coming off quite nicely. And as it comes here, there's less support, it gets noisier, so it's rattling back into the engine. Uh, 60-70% and the finish here is, is quite good anyway, it's smooth out, it's, just, it's got those markings um, in the last cut I'll, I'll come back on it and it'll be uh, mirror finish. And we'll go up again. <laughs> I 
I know some people like to watch the machines running constantly. Um, we'll make this a short one. I might come back slowly just so you can see what sort of finish is possible. These type of covers are always uh, happier when they're running on a complete surface without any holes and so forth. But that's the nature of the beast. We'll bring the camera down and we'll show you the finish. Uh, basically a mirror finish is as smooth as. Uh, but I can get it even smoother than that if I want to. But the main thing is they're doing that rough and cutting and uh, she's making plenty of curls there. Uh, thanks for watching and we'll be back with the, the next